my guys, look at you here. And oh, <gasps> creamy kimchi pasta is on the menu. All we need is fettuccine, 200 grams. And look at this hack. Yes. And since it's called creamy kimchi pasta, we obviously don't need kimchi. What is this? This is the giant kimchi container I got a year ago. Oh, it's potent. I'm a little f afraid to use it. All right, I'll try it. Don't try this at home, kiddos. I'm a professional kimchi eater. If you do not see this video, it is because you know why. Mm. Oh, oh, that's sour. Okay, a bit too sour. I'll save this for uh, bedtime. All right, we got our new kimchi. Oh, look at that. So fancy, so clean. Looks like an Apple MacBook unboxing video. Oh, let's try it out. The perfect amount of fermentedness. One cup of kimchi. This one's already sliced. Fairly large accolade. Accolade? The accolades of my work include being a YouTuber, having 60,000 subscribers. Kim you, Kim me, Kim Chi. Tai Chi. All right. Oh. That sound was lovely. It was like, it is Knife Wednesday. <laughs> Thinly slice this kimchi. Okay, linguini, let's put you inside so everyone gets equality of the jacuzzi. Master Chef Miku, how's it looking? Do a little sniffy. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Do I get a promotion? So you can give Miku, I'm fired, a juicy piece of salmon at the end of next video. <gasps> Our fettuccine is done. All right, we have the Gordon Ramsay stainless steel pan, medium heat. What is this? This is unsalted bear. Teddy bear, but her, but him. This is a fresh batch, by the way. I just churned it last night. Three tablespoons. Kimchi in. Butter with kimchi? <laughs> Look at you. That is genius. Are you Albert Einstein? Have you ever seen a more mm, gorgeous work of art besides the Mona Lisa. All right, we're gonna stir fry this kimchi. Do a flip. Do a, do a leap up. Now this recipe is very simple, all right. We only need five ingredients, okay? This is a one hit wonder. This is a five hit wonder. Stevie Wonder is wondering how to make the kimchi pasta. We need heavy cream, 35%. Heavy, just like my heart. <laughs> mm. One cup. Multitasking queen. We need a quarter cup of pasta, mm, the delicious juicy pasta water, the forbidden juice. Okay, a quarter cup into the heavy cream. We want to prevent the cream from curdling. That is the hardest part about cream sauces. It sometimes curdles and then you're like, oh no, my turtle. So the starch from the pasta water, as well as the heat from the pasta water, well, temper. Oh, fancy cooking term. Temper. 
the cold cream so it won't be so much of a temperature shock when it goes into the hot pot. After five minutes, it should look like this. Now we're gonna add our temper <laughs> heavy cream. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. Oh! Simmer this until the cream has halved. We need one cup of Parmesan grated. All right, after five minutes or so, we can add in our Parmesan. Look at that. We're gonna let it simmer for another minute. Do you remember? The 21st night of September. Look at this. Uno. That's how long it should take to reveal the bottom with the spatula. Uno. Look at this consistency. Scientists, whoever is watching. All we need is to add our fettuccine with a little bit of heat. Our pasta has loosened up. We got basil. For a garnish, all right, we'll have like a couple stem cells. Roughly chop it all around the world, all the boys and girls. And let's dig in. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product. And I'm super excited. Oh. Oh. Look at that. This is for you guys, I'm shipping it to you. Just be patient. All right, cheers. First bites for you. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that. Mm. Umami, savory, and it's like Tang from the kimchi. The creaminess definitely cuts the tanginess of the kimchi in half. Balances it out. The Parmesan cheese adds a nice aged and sharp flavor. The little chunks of kimchi adds a lovely refreshing bite. It just pops in your mouth like pop, pop, pop. Kimchi. It has quite a kick. But since I'm a spicy girl, I don't think it's quite spicy in my opinion. You can taste the garlic and the onion flavor from the kimchi. Not too salty since we didn't add any additional salt. It has a perfect balance. If you have a giant container of kimchi like I do, this dish is another way to use it up. And I'll see you guys Next time, Miku gets tuna rice ball. Eat. That was Miku's first onigiri. And if you're still here, comment, Kim, where's my chi? To confuse everyone. Yeah.